Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk about coupon organizing. This is probably going to be one of my more boring videos, but this is helpful if you're new into couponing and you want kind of an idea on how to sort it and how not to get overwhelmed. So what I do as soon as my newspapers come, I take my inserts and even if I'm too busy to do anything else, I just take all my inserts, I take them apart, and I stack them into the according piles, you know. So I get four papers every week. And so, um, in this case, this is Kotex. So I um, pull out all the Kotex ones and I stack them together. And I take razors and I stack them together. And I take whatever the coupon is for and I stack them together. And then I staple them, if you can see that. I used to um, avoid stapling them for a long time because I thought, oh, it's going to tear them and it's going to be annoying. It puts the tiniest little holes in it and it's actually really nice because it keeps them together. So I sort them and I staple um, at the top of each little clump of coupons and then I cut them out. Okay, like this. Got my big pile of coupons over here. And then if I have time, I'll start sorting them through all my little tabbies and put them away. If I don't have time to sort them that second, I put them in a gallon sized Ziploc bag, just have all my floating coupons in there, and I keep it in this little pocket in the back of my binder. And then when I have another minute, I will sort them and put them through the little um, plastic pages. I know some people think that the binder method is kind of old fashioned, and that some people really aren't into this because they think it's very time consuming. But honestly, if you, if you just do the whole insert method, you can miss so many deals because you won't realize all the coupons that you have. So that's why this is my preferred method. Um, I got one of these little pencil bags um, up front and that's where I keep my scissors. And then sometimes um, if there's a couple of coupons that I know that I'm going to use at a certain store, um, sometimes I'll take my whole binder in there just because sometimes I just want to see what they have. But if I already know what I'm getting and it's going to be a short little trip, I'll take the coupons that I'm getting to use for that store, put them in here, and I can just carry my little pencil bag. So that's an option too. Um, also, there's a little plastic pocket up front. So when I'm going um, shopping, what I do is I, I pull out the different coupons that I'm going to need as I find my items and I put them up here in my little plastic pocket in the front. So when I get up to pay... Um, I can give them my membership card or rewards card or whatever, and then I can pull out the appropriate coupons. Um, I used to try and hold them while I was walking around the store, and the sweat from your fingers just makes them, like, gross and wet because you get, like, all anxious, like, you know, is my is my transaction going to work out? And so it's just kind of, I don't know, for me this ended up being easier. Um, it avoids dropping your coupons, and then also they don't get, like, all wet and gross, like, before you hand them to your cashier. So, um, my little tabs I got on the side, I break things down into categories, um, breakfast, snacks, beauty, pantry, uh, freezer, household, and you know, you can really kind of break it down into whatever, um, you need, I guess. For me, I like to know, okay, what's going to be more of a, a shelf stable, um, coupon. So that's like pantry. That would be things like, um... Salad dressings when they're, you know, when you first buy them and they're not opened. So salad dressings, dry pasta, things like that would be in that tab. Got spices, um, juices, sauces, whatnot. So that's what I keep in my pantry section. And then my freezer section, got over here. That's different little uh, frozen things like frozen veggies meats, um, burgers, whatever like the little sample -y things are. Just because then you know where stuff is and you don't have to walk around with this, you know, big envelope of coupons and overlook them and lose them. So for me, the binder method has been most helpful. But hopefully this will give you an idea if this sounds like something that is the method that you want to use. Um, so I'm just going to kind of remind you is I, I sort the inserts when I first get them. I staple them, and if that's all you can do in one setting, because, you know, maybe you have to run to church, you know, it's Sunday, or maybe, um, you know, your kids are needing your attention or whatever, that's okay. But what I always do, as soon as I get these, I sort them, and then if I have just 10 more seconds, I hurry up and I staple them. 
And then in the next sitting, I clip them out like I'm doing right now, make my big pile. And if I have time to sort them, I do. If not, they go in the gallon size baggie. That way, if I break it down into smaller chunks, it's more manageable. And it, it, it helps me to be able to sort my coupons in the method that I prefer without getting burnout or getting overwhelmed. So I hope this video is helpful and I hope you guys have an awesome day.